everything goes to silent, nobody's speaking. And then in three, two, one. Hey, I'm Adrian Adrian. I'm the technical lead of engine assembly here at Rocket Factory Augsburg. We do build engines for our rocket. This is the clean room and here is the area where we build our turbo machinery. I always tell that the engines are like my babies. I feel like I got them when they were just a small piece and then started putting all together and then when I have them right there about to be hot fire, it's very exciting for me. After the countdown, this last T minus 10 seconds, this last 10 seconds are the most nerve-wracking of everything. You, your heart stops or beats very fast, everything goes to silent, nobody's speaking. And then in three, two, one, you hear the ignition. And then the roar, like the sound, the very loud noise of the engine, and it's coming alive. And that's super rewarding for us that we build it. My background came from aviation. I'm an aircraft mechanic technician. I spent almost three years in Venezuela as an aircraft mechanic. And then uh, I always wanted more. I always wanted to go ahead to do something, um, something that not too many people can say, hey, I have worked with rockets in the past. So I wanted to create a history not only for me, but also for my family in the future, to my sons, to my grandchild, to tell them, yeah, back in my days, I was building a rocket. It's very interesting to be this side of the, of the window that everyone can come to you and say, oh my God, you are building the engines or you're building the rocket and not being just a spectator, but actually being the one doing it. It's such a great and awesome experience. When RFA-1 has launched, guess what? We have another rocket to build. It's not one launch, it's about a launch service, right? So we need for sure to build more and more and more. And we might be also developing an Who knows, maybe we're doing that.